Boom, what's going on guys? My name is Tommy and I have a type 3 osteogenesis imperfecta. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about manual wheelchair versus electric wheelchair. What is more beneficial? What should you be using? And what are my experiences and thoughts about it, right? So an electric wheelchair is basically what it sounds like, right? You go in a wheelchair and it drives itself self essentially. But you have a joystick to to move around and to to aim where you're driving at, right? Whereas on a manual wheelchair, you have to use your upper body to move you and the chair. So you're using your arms, your shoulder, shoulders, and your back to move yourself. And using a manual wheelchair will use energy. Whereas if you're in an electric wheelchair, you're not using any type of energy. You're not exerting energy other than moving your, your wrist to move the joystick. But if you're in a manual wheelchair, you're exerting a lot of energy, a lot, and you're using a lot of power, using a lot of mindset, right? And from that, you will grow in strength and muscle. So you will develop strength gains and muscle gains. So people, when we have OI, or you know, you got OI, I got OI, every OI person is different. You have to go based off of your limitations and your power and your capabilities. If you have the power and the capability of moving your upper body, moving your shoulders, moving your arms, then you have the power and capability of using a manual wheelchair. If you want to develop more strength gains and muscle gains, then I highly recommend using a manual wheelchair because in the long run, it will promote strength gains, muscle gains, and longevity. Because when we grow older, or just in general, our body needs exercise. And when you're not exercising, you're just being immobile all the time, your body will start degrading. It will start breaking itself down. Your muscle starts breaking itself down into a weaker muscle. And then it starts getting smaller, smaller and smaller and smaller. Not even mentioning that, but it starts impacting your your heart health and not even mentioning that it may impact your mental state so if you have the capability and power to manually will yourself go about that because at the end of the day at the end of the day people you are promoting longevity and that's the key if you want to live healthy and live long in life right there's so many health complications that come with being immobile that i don't recommend using a electric wheelchair by any means if you are capable of using a manual wheelchair. Now for those who are in an electric wheelchair and really can't use a manual wheelchair, listen up. I understand where you're coming from. It is hard for you to get around because you don't have the power to move your upper body perhaps. Or move, yeah, move your body upper body essentially because you need your arms and your back to move a manual wheelchair i understand that but if you could try if you could try it's going to be hard at first you moving around in a manual wheelchair is going to be very hard it's hard for normal beings to move around in a wheelchair too right i, I find it very funny because i let you know my friends drive my wheelchair around and they're struggling so i know it takes great power in order to move a manual wheelchair but if if you have the power and capability but isn't in a manual wheelchair and if you're in a electric wheelchair, I highly advise you to get out of that and start going into a manual wheelchair because you will start noticing or you will start degrading as time progresses. Because like I said, being immobile is probably the worst thing to do in life. You want to stay active. You want to give your body what it needs. It needs exercise. It needs blood flow throughout your body it needs fresh nutrients within your body right so you know what is more beneficial a manual wheelchair is beneficial for those who can move their upper body who who have the power to push themselves who have the power to exert their energy and and to move themselves freely without any pain or anything like that right whereas people who can't really move who don't have the power and capability to move their upper body and whatnot, then an electric wheelchair is ideal for you. But if you have the power to exercise and to get your strength up in order to go about a manual wheelchair, then I would. Thanks for watching.